Well, hello, it's Jim Alesmeer. Today, we're going to wire a uh, earthed plug. So this is an electrical plug, pretty standard European type. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to wire it to a cable. And do keep in mind that you probably need to uh, check up if you can do this yourself or not in uh, your country, because uh, we're not responsible for any mistakes that you might do doing this process. So, uh, first we have this cable, and uh, when you are wiring an earthed plug, then you will need to make sure that uh, you have a cable with three cables, because in here we have, you know, three connections. What you want to make sure, of course, uh, it kind of is pretty obvious, but of course, I'm just going to tell you this anyways, of course, never work with any wire that's connected into anything make sure it's all disconnected and that's uh, also true for disconnected appliances like microwaves and stuff like that can still potentially be a little bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing so in any case uh, we'll need to strip off the outer layer i'm going to use a cable stripper for this we can take a little larger chunk than we actually need there we go so uh, here we have the cable, we have some white powder, that's some flame retardant, not very healthy. And we have a blue cable, this is the uh, neutral one. And the brown cable, this is the live one. And the green and yellow cable, that is the earth or ground. So these two cables are the ones that will take the electricity. So uh, we'll, we'll need to strip these cables. And then we have the plug here. We have some uh, connection here for the cable, which we can crimp or make it stay in place. And of course, we need to do that on the wide part of the cable, so it actually uh, sticks onto there. So we're going to open up these connections here. And if you're very lucky, um, there might be a possibility that it's actually marked inside of here, which is which. Um, because then you know for sure what to connect up to where. Now, this is of course uh, alternating current. So the current switches direction. Um, it comes from the live one first of course and but then it goes back again through the blue one it's you know switches 60 or 50 times every second that's the alternating current so uh, you can also plug in this type of plug the european one both directions so as you might understand the blue and the blue and brown uh, orientation doesn't matter very much since you can again plug this in both directions so you can switch it up to ten, dependent on how you plug it in you know However, the ground, that one you need to make sure you don't mix up. It's the blue and brown or the live and neutral ones you have to be extra careful about. So as you can see here, we can just connect it in there. Make sure no wire is astray. Make sure that each of them are inside of here. And to make it a little bit more simple, we can get help of this thing to really push it in there because you don't want any uh, free floating wires to be able to connect up to any other little free floating wire and create a little short. That is of course, as you probably understand, a potential fire hazard. Ground is securely fastened. Uh, now we'll go with the other cables and uh, if they are marked, or how, you should, how you should wire them up, you should mark them like that. Uh, now, if they're not, we can, of course, wire them up in any way. And, and again, <laughs> this type of cable can be reversed, so it doesn't matter too much. But uh, usually we do the blue wire, the neutral one, we go to the left and the brown, the live wire, we, we go to the right. So that's what we're going to do right here. And there we have the brown one is fastened. Now we have the neutral. If they just won't get into the hole here, we'll need to twist them together a little bit just so that they don't 
escape so we successfully can get one into the hole here and in any case do be a little bit careful about twitching twisting them too much because if you twist them too much they will eventually break off and you don't want the part of the cable to be weak there either so just twist it enough to get in there and make sure that you fasten these screws securely and properly go over them an extra time and make sure they are tight like that now we can see here we are inserted like that very fine we can now take it and go over like this into this little area here where we of course can clamp down on the cable so here you can see why we need it to be the proper length so that we can really uh, crimp it or clamp it down on this white part the thick part of the cable and there we have it so we can go over here and see everything is secure here uh, nothing seems to be connecting to anything else that's wrong and just check that all the cables are actually sitting here securely uh, and if they are well then we can close off this little this little protection cover thing also make sure that this one is sitting securely that really needs to sit really well because otherwise you might get into some issue later when you accidentally plug or drag on the cable here you know we want to make sure it actually sits there and this one sits very tightly we'll just put on the cover here and tighten this last screw here so that it is securely and protected and earthed so there we have it we have successfully wired an earthed plug an electrical plug of european type so I hope you have enjoyed this little video and if you have, please leave a like and do stay tuned for future tutorials like this. This is your host Jimodism and we're signing out.